Hi, Hogzilla here again. Today we will be playing TV Tycoon. While this intro video plays for the game, let me give you a little background. TV Tycoon was developed by Niles Bauer Games, published by eGames, and was released on July 9th, 2001. I know I had this game sitting around collecting dust. Um, it was... Um, published at a time when there was a lot of different tycoon games. And I thought this would just be another great game. But um, sadly, if I, my memory serves me correct, this was a very difficult game to play. I don't know if that's an intentional difficulty. Or if that's because of some kind of programming flaw in the game but it is a very difficult game they always seem to be burying you in this game now i know i said in my golf resort tycoon video from a couple weeks prior that they didn't have any events here there's always events all over the place um with probably four out of every five of them trying to bury you further into debt um on top of trying to buy programming, meet advertiser requirements, TV station maintenance, debt interest, which is just absorbent on this game. They they really bury you hard on interest. Um, I think at the lowest interest rate, it's like 25%. And it is just, this game is difficult or intentionally undeveloped. I just can't believe, um, if you notice in the credits of this game, that there was actually uh, multiple developers and a beta tester. And none of them said, boy, this game is too difficult. So, let's hop into this game um, and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Okay, so we're going to enter Hogzilla. Start the game. You're given a, a brief, um, how you say, intro to the game that you have just turned 21 when your granduncle dies and leaves you a small bankrupt TV station. Although it is in the red numbers, you take it over and hope to make big money. And we have a begin the game button. So a couple things I will note right off the bat is um, 1954, June 13th. Let's go ahead and go on. You're starting out with $4 million, which you think would be a lot, but it's not. You're not going to be able to buy much good programming. The loan is going to crush you at $24 million. It is honestly, what, if I remember correctly, the reason I got so frustrated with this game. There's no like easy, medium, hard mode. There's no cheat codes to get that loan reduced. I even spent time um, trying to get into the, the, the files. If there were any config files or EXEs or... Or any kind of files where I could tilt the game even a little bit into my advantage. But I couldn't even get in that way. The file structure for this game is really weird. And I don't know if that's because it's on this like e-games. But this is a very tough game. You always got to be bankrolling the money. The closest I ever came with this game to making any kind of run at being successful is I created some kind of glitch in the game where the TV programs I bought didn't go away after their, their contractual run. Like, series will say, you get to have this series for six times you can put it in the schedule, and then after that, it goes away. Well, uh, there was something where I could keep using it without having to pay for it again. And even then, I couldn't get out of debt. I think I came close to getting paying off the loan. And if you don't pay off the loan within 90 days, 
the the lenders, the bank, or the bankruptcy court will declare you bankrupt and take over your TV station. Else, what theoretically should happen is you should be able to buy additional markets and make money. But I, I'm just not sure. Um, some nice things I do have to say about this game is they do have a model in which, based on the time of day, you need to select the right programs to fulfill the the advertising requirements and we'll go through all that kind of stuff when we play the game here but um let's just hop in here and get started and i'll try and explain stuff as we go along so you see you have a schedule with tv time from 12 noon to 2300 hours so, let's see here. I need some kind of, like, soap opera deal. Um... Let's see here. Here we go, soap opera. Let's go ahead and buy it. We got four million now. This will cost four hundred and seventy-three thousand. Higher the number, the better the series is. The theoretically, the more viewers you would get off of it. Uh, let's just see if there's anything else we want to buy instead. Some of them have requirements to say that can only be shown after twenty-two hundred. Here's a soap for five mil, so that ain't happening. What about movies? You get three spots. I'm thinking of going with the series here. I'm looking for like um, shows in the um, like the first couple hours are going to be soaps. Then I think the next couple are uh, young kids, children shows. Then after that, it's like teens and adults. And then it's like low income, high income earners in at the end of the night. Um, we'll be lucky if we even get to the high quality. But let's go ahead. Buy the soap. Let's get the movie. I don't know what else I want to get right now. Let's just see what we... Click, hold, and drag. Uh, sing with old Joe. I don't know about that. Is there something better we can buy? Um, probably not. Let's go ahead and buy that. Let's get this um, away for right now. Um, storm the beach. No, let's last woman standing. Then we'll do storm the beach. Now we got to acquire ads for this. You could also put in news, but I've never had much success. Well, I haven't had much success on this game overall, but, um, <laughs> Let's see here. We need six times. So if I remember right, you get like four commercial breaks per hour. And during those commercial breaks, you need a certain number of people watching. And if you meet that, that times, then you get that money. Um, three times at 300,000. 
We should definitely get that. We should get that. That's a lot of broadcasting time just for four million. Uh, what do we need? One hundred and fifty thousand to get the over three days. What else do we have for advertisers right now? Let's just get Tyomi Tech in here. I think three K. Now, what do we need here? We need a hundred thousand. So let's get. This should be four. And then to further crush you in this game, if you don't get it, then they charge you a penalty. Oh, the penalty is just crushing in this game. Um, it's just, there's just so many minefields in this game. Uh, let's see here. Um, I don't think we want any kind of marketing. No, definitely not because we can't afford it. So you can see that you've got a um, TV station in Helena, Montana. Four million potential viewers. But then you can buy like other areas. And I think when I told you about that glitched out game, I can't remember where I bought. Was it? I think it was like Des Moines I bought, and that was just before the loan was coming due in that. But I had acquired, I had rolled up to like 200 million because the interest is just crushing. Like, I'm thinking right now of spending my. Okay, uh, two, three, oh, six. They got this comma on the end. So now go back. No money, no viewers. Uh, let's, let's see what happens. Um, let's take her slow. Okay, so we got four left. We're okay. Maybe you only get three commercial breaks per. Uh, let's see here. Advertising. Can we... Let's just get Tyomi Tech in here. We're only getting about 80,000 in viewers. I can already tell that this is going to fail out. Okay. We're only getting 80,000 and none of these contracts meet that. I mean, we can do milk flakes and hope afterwards that, uh, we're doing about okay, I'm not even getting any, any demographic in to watch. That's why I was nervous to take that one that said kids for 80,000 because I'm not even getting 80,000 viewers. Um, okay. Uh, Milk Flakes wanted, I forgot how much on there. They wanted a hundred thousand. We have kids and teens watching. So we got the 
one contract done. What's Okay, we got that contract done. We made some. Now we just need to put in milk flakes. I think I might fulfill all these contracts here. <laughs> this is another thing I totally forgot um, that happens in the game besides ones that say, hey, you got extra money, or hey, the bank charged you an overdraft charge or something. I forgot what. You can get nailed extra money. Um, but... A major military incident has occurred. Nobody wants to see any violent movies. So, you could see here that I started out with a $24 million loan. And it's up to 26000 already. Or $26 million. It just crushes you, this game. Um, we're going to need to put that on later. Um, I think we'll buy this quiz series. Is there like a soap series we can buy? Yeah, we can buy this and get... Uh, we don't want to buy that crime because it has a lot of violence in it. Um, well, we can't buy it anyway. Um, let's go ahead and get that. Um... Let's get the soap series. No, wasn't there? And then let's put this in here. Free quiz. I don't know exactly when to put Then maybe put in free quiz two. <laughs> uh, kind of a tedious. I think I spent too much on. See, that's why I wish you could keep the the uh, series you had already in the movies and just show them again. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put here, and this is going to totally bomb out. I mean, um, definitely take that we'll take the Tanami contract but uh, let's get the Tanami tech contract in here there is a tutorial with this game it's just that it's not as, as intuitive as you would expect. It, it helps you, tells you what all this stuff does, but it doesn't give you any kind of hints in the game. Um... I 
I don't even know how people get to these higher levels. I almost just get the impression that they intentionally built it this way to be intentionally difficult or they're just that incompetent. Um, 65. Not that that's going to matter. Another 20% on 25 or almost 26 millions is going to bury this network. Let's just put something on it here just so in case Okay, I think that was the Tanami, or no, the Boy Scout contract. Let's go ahead and, so we did get two mil. Let's just throw the Northern Railroad on everything. Yeah, and now I'm up to 31 million. So that's what I'm just talking about in this game is the game is just designed to bury you. So now I have only 1.6 million and I have to use that to buy more stuff because now I don't have anything left here for shows really. That's why I try and stick to series because they last longer but they don't bring in as many people, so you can't get as big contracts. It, it's just, it's just designed to crush you. The game is, it, it, the game has potential. If they would have just done a few things, adding like an easy, medium, hard difficulty. Maybe have something where you don't have the loan crushing you. Um, but I feel almost like they just made this game, got their money, and made a run for it. Um, I'm not going to exactly play through this whole game here. I, I just don't want to put you and, and, and myself through actually trying to 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 pay off this loan but it's just it's going to just get worse and worse and worse i might try playing this game a little bit off to the side and if i can figure out ever how to to dig myself out of this hole um this loan that you get then maybe um i'll make another video on it but I just wanted to play this game today. It's a lesser known game. It might be known as TV Manager to some people. Um, but as you can see here, it says TV Tycoon. So if you like what you saw in the video today, press that thumbs up button. If you've played this game yourself and have a um, question, comment, or if you know how to successfully play this game, um, other than the one video that's out there that doesn't even successfully get through this game, um, drop me a comment, please. Um, and Or if you have this game and you want to do some kind of tag team and try and figure this game out, let me know. Um, I put out uh, other tycoon videos, so go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I am Hogzilla, and thank you for watching.